Welcome back to City Stream. Well, we went around the corner about a block or so west on Jackson Street from Hinghe Park to arrive at this wonderful store called Kobo. A winner of the Mayor's Small Business Awards last year, Kobo is an artist gallery and shop with an eclectic mix of all kinds of Japanese treasures. You'll find beautiful pottery, jewelry, books, wood carvings, teapots, and photographs. Speaking of which, Currently on display here, the photographic art of Barry Wong. Now, Barry is one of the premier photographers in our region and is probably best known for his news work at the Seattle Times. But now he's combining photography, food, and family in a new recipe for success. Here's producer Susan Hahn. We can give it a little smash here. Now it kind of releases the flavor. Okay. Oof. Hey, whoa, hey, don't break my cleaver. Barry Wong is right at home in the kitchen. In fact, food has played a central role all his life. Love of food is from my parents. Um, you know, we grew up and it was a, you know, you're sort of typical immigrant, poor Chinese uh, American family in San Francisco's Chinatown. But we always had great food. Then my parents ran a small joint, a small restaurant where I grew up. Uh, washing dishes, peeling potatoes, making hot cake batter. You know, I totally hated it. And, and little did I know I'd, I'd be hanging around a lot of restaurants and in the back rooms of restaurants, you know, in the, in the uh, kitchen of restaurants. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. These days, Barry spends a lot of time creating beautiful food portraits. It's a far cry from his parents' diner and a change of pace from his longtime career at the Seattle Times. Okay. As a staff photographer, he received many journalism awards. He was even nominated for a Pulitzer Prize for his 1999 coverage of the WTO riots in Seattle. When I shot for the newspaper, the thing is that things happen very fast. You either have it or you don't for the deadline. It was a great career. I got to travel, got to cover exciting things in Seattle, meet interesting people. But I felt like I did it. Barry was meticulous in almost everything he did. And, you know, attention to detail was second to none. Cole Porter, now with Getty Images, was Barry's photo editor at The Times for 18 years. Not many news photojournalists have the patience to go into a studio for five, six, seven, eight hours to produce one photograph. But that, that, was, that was Barry. He took food photography at the Seattle Times to a different level. As I'm older, I realized that there was this body of work that I wanted to do. And I realized, gosh, I only have like so many working years to create this body of work. And so I should do what I like to do and enjoy it and really focus on it. So I, de I decided not to do all kinds of types of photography, you know, uh, to really focus on, on food. What people don't understand is how, how skilled you have to be to do it. it. It's composition and lighting. It has to be appetizing, and it has to be beautiful. Um, and it ha in Barry's case, he has a definite style. So that's a pretty good combination. What's your sense of his style? And what Fabulous, creative, it, it's like a piece of art. Tomo, then I got an idea. Tomoko Matsuno heads Wajimaya and is a client of Barry Wong. She's hired him to shoot a cookbook for the grocery chain. Oh, because he's the best and he understands all the Asian products and he knows how to bring out the best of the products. I'm actually really lucky because um, I've been doing photography in the Seattle area long enough where when people um, want to hire me, they just really like let me do what I want to do. And one client just uh, said, um, we hired you because we love your work and you tell us what's good. You tell us what you like. And I said, no, really, kidding. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love that. Okay, well, that looks pretty good. That like his good. parents, Barry relishes the chance to share his passion for food with his children. When I go to the, the grocery store, um, 
I'm often really picking through the, the vegetables. I mean, I'm, I'm buying them and, and, and we'll, I'll use them to photograph, but then we'll also like cook with them too. So those look good. Yeah. They look crispy, little tiny guys. These are really great. Part of it is looking for those perfect bok choy. And a lot of that is from mom and dad and growing up and eating and cooking with them and shopping with them and knowing what to look for. And, you know, waiting to find just the right ones. You know, I go to, I go to the grocery store and, you know, I'm like looking through them, you know, and picking the best ones. Sometimes I wonder if the, the you know, the produce guy's like, what's that guy doing? Mm -hmm. That looks great. Mm. Barry has contributed his uh, exquisite artwork to our auction for about 15 years. Nonprofits like the Wing Luke Asian Museum benefit from Barry's creativity. I think he's a very reflective person. He's not, um, he's not self-absorbed. I'm, I'm kind of honored to be asked. Barry is humble about his early work. I remember putting, I don't know, like a mushroom and a cherry on a shiny background, and for some reason I thought that was a great photo, but when I looked back on it, it was just terrible. <laughs> he's grateful for his parents' sacrifices and the life lessons. It infuses every aspect of who he is. The family is just like the most important thing. When people ask me, you know, what, uh, you know, what I do for a living, you know, I, I say, you know, first I'm, I'm a father and husband, and then the second thing is my second most important job is I'm a photographer.